Hey guys, it's Daniel. Um, I did a video uh, two days ago about how to build titles using a secret tool that most dropshippers and eBay do not know. Uh, I got a lot of fantastic reviews and I've decided to make an additional video in English for you. So, in this video I'd like to teach you about truly a secret tool. What do I mean by secret tool? Uh, I mean that it is a tool that I absolutely know no one that uses. They don't publish themselves. They don't have so many people that use this tool, but it is so amazing. It has such a great value. And I, for one, cannot really understand why do they even offer it for free. But if they do offer it for free, why not use it? It has such a powerful potential, especially on eBay. Uh, and in this video, I'd like to teach you how to use it. So first of all, let's use a different method that is being used by this tool, by this secret free tool. And in order to really understand the secret tool, you must know this method first. So I'm now on eBay, eBay.com, and it doesn't really matter what page you're in. What matters is that you go into the footer section. The footer section on a page is the one that is absolutely at the lowest level on a page. You see here, you have all the important links doesn't really matter if it starts selling the seller hub, the news, the company info, the uh, contact us page. But what we truly search for is the security center. You see it here? You can also do control F on the keyboard and search for the word security and you'll find it. You can also type on Google eBay security center and find this page. But let's click it now. On the eBay security page, you see that it's quite similar. It talks to you about how to stay safe on eBay, how to avoid scammers and things like that, which doesn't really interest me at the moment, even though it is a very important subject. What I'm truly interested in is how to build titles. I'm about to show you a method that will open up to you uh, truly amazing and huge data uh, about your clients. If you will type here in the search for anything, for the word, I don't know, socks, you will find that eBay auto completes you based on searches that are popular in eBay. So for example, for the word socks, you see that socks is obviously the first, the most popular, then you have soccer clits, soccer jersey, socket organizer, circling two C pap cleaner and synthesizer, soccer socks women, socket set. If I'm really interested in socks and I want to see what people search for, it is amazing to use it. But because it also auto completes me to soccer and things like that, I can do space and then it's only socks so we have socks women men kids funny slider baby lot sneakers and shoes and i see that socks women is the first one after socks to be the most search for so if i have unisex socks i will type in socks women maybe and men and kids things like that it is, of course, much more complicated than that, and you'll have to investigate how many people are on this title, how unique you are, and what your competition is. But it is an amazing free tool to actually see what people search for on eBay. Same goes for Google. If you go to Google, google.com, you will see if you would, uh, do the word socks, that socks shoes, socks proxy, socks five, socks to home, proxy list, and things like that are the most searched for. But now I want to ask you a question. Let's say that you are missing a lot of words, you don't know how to fill up your 80 characters based on the EB title, and you already have all these words. So how do you create additional ideas? You can also, of course, just play with the title a bit. 
instead of the word socks, do sock and then space. And you have different uh, suggestions. You can also do man socks and find things like uh, different things like cotton, like 100 percent cotton, like cloth, like shoes, jersey, pack and things like that. But again, I want to have much more suggestions than that. And for that, we have our secret tool that I'm about to show you now. Let's go to Google and search for the SEO stack tool. You see it already auto completes me to SEO stack keyword tool. And before I forget, I'm sorry for uh, not doing it sooner. You can also go to ebay.com I just want to show you why the eBay Security Center is important. And here you can do the word iPhone. And you see that it doesn't autocomplete you. This is why we go to eBay Security Center because here it works 100% of the time. At least now, I'm recording it on November. So as for November 26, this technique works. And it has been working for a very long time. So let's search for the SEO stack. I'll put down a link for you to the tool. It is actually a Chrome extension. Let's click on that on the first link. This is how it looks. I'll do add to Chrome. It is, of course, a totally free tool. I'm adding it to a Chrome. If you don't like it, you can right click on that, remove from home or go to Google and do remove from home here. Okay, guys, but it is an amazing tool. I promise you that once installed, you will never want to in, uh, uninstall it. Now, after it was added to our Chrome, we can left click on that and it will open a new page. Now, let me describe you what we see. It is actually a pretty basic tool. It's pretty easy to use. It's very uh, user friendly but it is important to understand how it works. So first of all, what we have on the left upper side is the enter seed keyword. Here we can actually write the keyword, the, the most important phrase or keyword of our item. Let's say that we want to show again the word socks. We want to see what is popular for the word socks, what people on eBay search for when they are interested in finding socks. So I'll do socks. Then we have the modifiers. And now it is important to understand how this tool, how this amazing secret tool actually works. So it is important to first know that it doesn't invent anything new. It doesn't use their, I don't know, a secret imagination tool. It is taking all the suggestions, all the ideas from eBay, from the eBay Security Center. And this is why I wanted to show you the eBay Security Center first, because it is amazing and it shows the exact same data. But the eBay Security tool is limited to a number of suggestions. You can see it is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten suggestions. Twelve if you consider all the categories as well. But in here, we can actually find hundreds of suggestions. And this is how it works. If you put on the modifiers all these three options, what it will do is, first of all, enter the word socks on eBay. And it will copy and paste on this data on this uh, sheet, all the 10 ideas, all the 10 ideas you see here, it will be absolutely the same. However, after finishing with the word socks and copying all the 10 suggestions, it will continue to the word A, I mean, to the letter A. It will do socks space A, like that, and then copy everything that is unique it will remember what words it already copied and if it sees duplication suggestion like if we have socks women and then i put uh, i don't know uh w it will go from a to z it won't copy again the word women i will describe it later so here it takes ankle adidas 
art, anti-sleep, animal, ankle, boots, all those things. And then it will continue to B and C and all the A, B, C. After finishing with the A to Z, it will continue to 0 to 9. So 0, it has this suggestion. 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Then extras. Extras are things like comma, things like dot. It won't work on all items, but there are many items that everything on the modifiers here are important. For example, iPhone. If you would search for iPhone, the 0 to 9 is very important. Why? Because you have iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and every unique search has other unique suggestions. So I'm usually really recommending to put everything. It just adds about a few seconds more to the search, but it can actually grant you with such unique ideas that you have never even thought about putting in your title. Then we have the select sources, and now you will understand why this tool is actually astonishing and I don't use the word astonishing that easily. You can actually can't come up with ideas from Google, YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, Amazon and eBay. For now we will use eBay of course because we want to see what people on eBay search for. Google is amazing. Google can come up with so many ideas but on Google it, it isn't just a shopping engine search. On Google, you can search for everything, not just shopping related searches. And you want to see what eBay has to offer, what people search on an eBay. I would say that if you put only eBay and you don't have many ideas, the second best search will be for Amazon because Amazon is also just shopping related searches. But if you're trying to promote a website on Google, or a video on YouTube, or on Bing or Yahoo, then this tool is amazing for you as well. But we will keep it on eBay, keeping it on eBay, meaning that it will take ideas from the eBay Security Center. We will do country United States language English unless you sell on a different eBay website. If you're on the UK website, then you can of course do United Kingdom and of course, remain on English. If you're an EB Germany, do Germany and German. I will do this to start. Let's just remove the letter A, do start. And just see how many ideas it already gives you. We are talking about hundreds of ideas. Socks, socks, women, main kids, funny, cider, baby, lot, sneakers, shoes. Do you remember anything? These are the exact same keyword suggestions that eBay Security Center granted me with. Remember, it doesn't invent anything new. It is being based on a search engine that is already being uh, maintained by eBay. And what better site or data is uh, can you get other than eBay, the platform you're selling on? And I'm, of course, now referring to people who actually sell on eBay. But if you're promoting on Google, YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, or Amazon, just do the same for your platform. So I have so many ideas, and I have rank, source, and seed. So the source will always be eBay here, unless I, of course, change it. If I do multiple sources, I'll have some eBay, some Amazon, some YouTube, and so on. The rank is the how popular it is based on the seed. So let's explain what is the seed is. The seed is the word that was used in order to come up with the suggestion. So for socks, socks are from here until here. These are the searches, these are the suggestions, and this is the rank. The first one is socks, then it's women, then it's men. One, two, three. Same goes here. Socks is first, women in second, men in three. So this is the position, how popular it is from this seed. Then we have SOX A, and from SOX A, it was able to come up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 additional unique ideas. So Uncle is the first one on the SOX A. This is rank number one on SOX A. And then you have up to SOX Alien, which is rank number 10. Then we have the SOX B, because it was finished with SOX A. And 
it starts with rank 2. Why does it start with rank 2? Is because rank 1 for SOX B was already used. It doesn't show you duplication. So let's try to come up what word was already uh, used. If I put the word SOX B, the first one is SOX Baby. The second was SOX Baby Girl. And SOX Baby Girl does show here. But Sox Baby doesn't. Why Sox Baby doesn't? Because it was already used here. Sox Baby was ranked number eight. I'm sorry, ranked number seven on Sox. It didn't ha even have to use Sox B in order to come up with that. This is how popular Sox Baby is. So it continues up to socks. Why socks? This is extras. This is part of the so uh, extras. It come up with words for socks. Everything that you had no idea that can be searched for and that you can take actually pretty good ideas from using that. Best socks. You have best socks, best man socks, beetle socks, and this is actually being searched for. I wouldn't suggest using the word, word so, uh, best and things like uh, things that are too generic and unrelated to your actual product, not specific enough, because you don't want to generate a lot of impressions and uh, very less clicks and sales because it, it, it will hurt your conversions uh, and it will hurt your performance and how eBay treats you. But this is for an entire video, how Cassini works, uh, how the eBay search engine works. Um, but yeah. This is what, uh, this is how this tool is. You can export everything to a sheet. You can do plain text view. Let's just show it. Here you can actually pretty easily copy everything and remove things you don't like. And it is amazing, guys. It is truly an astonishing tool. And it is free. I will put down a link for you to see it. And if you like it, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you see value in my content, please comment on the video. Tell me what to, tell me um, um, what you think about a video. Tell me what video I should do next. And really let me know that it does help you and that I should continue. So this is about a tool. This is about the EB Security Center. This is about the SEO stack keyword tool. Uh, building titles are, of course, a much more complicated subject. I don't tell you to just put in your title things that are being very uh, popular and search for <coughs> because the competition amount can be also very, very large. You should always investigate it. Don't just tell yourself that if these words are being searched for, you will succeed because there are, there are so many other parameters that you should investigate, what prices are being offered, how many competitors you have and things like that. So this is about that. I hope you enjoyed this video and tell me what you think and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.